Hey everybody, welcome to another gameplay of Monarch. Last time we played, we destroyed the second ordeal. And um uh the bullies finally got murdered. <laughs> As you tell, I am not disappointed at all. The baby servant they shoved the dude off the building. <laughs> That's kind of like fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. And now we're gonna try to save one of them. Thank god we couldn't save him. Whatever his name is. Uh, hit, hit, hit it off me? Hit, hit, hit it off me? I love- and then Mickey. God, I wish- I would- we, I wish there was an option we could punch them. Cause yeah, I, I would've shot a puncher. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, like I said last episode. Uh, crazy shit happens. Uh, bullies. And uh, basically that's all. So let's head up to the third floor. But I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised how to clean up the corpse right away. I, I wonder if she's keeping that corpse in her basement or something. I, I won't be surprised because because I don't trust Mickey at all. Actually, before that, I want to check. I want to check how the the, uh, what do you call it? Theater thing is. For the singers. I want to see how that, that goes. Uh oh. Uh oh. You finally wake up in a classroom with no miss. Just to find out we're not allowed to go outside. Subaru made a real mess of things, hasn't he? I know him since we were in elementary school, but he's never been the type to fight, fit in. So poor that he always wears the same clothes. We say if you fight him over, stuff will go missing. Oh! <laughs> Kids with, will find any reason they, they can to bully each other, no matter how irrational it is. Those three are the most popular kids in school. They're totally opposite of an anti-social outcast like Subaru. Uh, okay. oh, wait. oh, all right, same thing. Yeah, yeah. That's it, that, that is a rumor. We don't know if that is true that he went and jacked people. <laughs> we did. Huh. Smart man. Well, yeah, let go up. Screw it. Time to fight. Time to destroy his last ordeal. <laughs> don't come any closer. You just want to be your friend. Just shut up already. It's time to die. Stop dragging out your worthless life. Oh, damn. Subaru, stop. No. No. <laughs> Just calmly. No. Step aside, Kokoro. It shouldn't matter to you whether he lives or dies, right? That isn't true. I want to protect him. Why? Huh? This isn't like you, Kokoro. What's wrong? Oh, guys, wait, blame me, isn't he? I thought you didn't care about other people. You're wrong. I do. Enough with this bullshit. Subaru, let me go. Drop the knife. I, you're kind of insane. I don't trust you with that knife. Or else I'll kill your dear, sweet Kokoro. I, I called it. Uh, it's all right. You don't need to intervene. I am in no danger. I don't know, dude. It's only a knife to your throat. Yasunori. Well, I shouldn't say throat. Because <laughs> she has a boy. He's not even aim his. He's not nowhere close to her. You really want to die writhing in agony, don't you? I distinctly remember saying not to lay a hand on Kokoro. Shut up! Either you let me go, or Kokoro dies. Or you get shoved down the window. I'm serious. I killed Hidefumi. I can kill her too. <laughs> kind of sucks that we didn't see the dude get suffer more. That's the thing. Like, they just right away murdered the main bully, dude. I was hoping for him to suffer at least a little bit more. Kokoro. Let me borrow you for a minute. With my power, I can beat him to death without getting a scratch on you. 
Oh, there's the mist. Absolutely not. I would rather die than take part in murder. I would rather forfeit my life than have you possess me. What? Why would you do all this for a worthless piece of human trash like him? You never get involved with other people. It was you, wasn't it? I, I call it. I fucking knew that's gonna happen. He's gonna look at me and be like, "It was you. You affected my darling." <laughs> oh God. What kind of thoughts did you put into our head? I didn't do shit really. Like, pick How her up. How dare you sully my pure Kokoro's mind like this? Loki, I was kind of hoping you at least abuse the bullies. Not murder, but at least abuse them. This has nothing to do with him. <sighs> Please, step aside. Once I kill him, my revenge will be complete. My curse will be lifted. The what mist curse? and the barrier will disappear. Everything will go back to normal. Not, not, not really. We used to have like what? How many? Uh, we murder. We stop one. We met this two. Yeah, we got four more. This is for your own good too. So come on, Kokoro. Just let me kill him. What exactly is this curse of yours? Yeah, I want to know. Everything that's been happening in the academy is a result of my curse. <laughs> Calm down, dude. I wished for revenge on these guys. I wanted them to die. You believe the anomalies will cease once you've had your vengeance? That's right. Well, that varies from my understanding. Surely, it must be an error on your part, Subaru. Yeah. The mist and the barrier have no relation to your curse. That's not true! They have everything to do with it! It's because of my curse that they exist! Because I'm special! Oh, God. Do you, you, do you have like a... He has hero syndrome. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, look at me. The fact that I'm even here right now is extraordinary on its own! Extraordinary? Ordinary? Who gives a shit? Just disappear already! I don't want to see you again! Stay away till I leave the building, and Kokoro will live. You're really getting on my last nerve here. I'm not holding back anymore. I want you dead as soon as possible. What is this madness? I'm going straight to the source. I didn't want to dirty my hands touching trash like you, but... <laughs> this isn't too bad. In a sadistic kind of way. Oh god. It's his. No! Ow! Kill! It's his head. It's gonna blow up. Oh, shut up! Never mind. Defry Knucky. You won't be going anywhere now. Huh. That surge of electricity should have knocked you unconscious, too. You're a lot less flimsy than you look. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you but up, But I kid. guess you won't be moving either way. If you survived that shock, I'm sure a little extra voltage won't kill you. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, no, I think he kind of fried my, uh, I think he kind of fried me. By the way, I smell really delicious. Do you have, like, extra seasons on you? <laughs> I just woke up myself. What's up with the, what happened to his body? Our time is at a premium. Yasunori's safety is in jeopardy. I don't think I can take much more of this. <laughs> a 
an announcement? Hello, everyone. I have some bad news. The curse is over. Sorry for the short notice, but I've decided to kill all of you one by one. <laughs> Hidefumi and his friends are already dead. But as you can see, things still aren't back to normal. My curse hasn't been lifted. In other words, my grudge still hasn't gone away. So this time, I'm going to kill all of you. Oh Don't God. bother trying to escape. All that'll do is fast track your death. <laughs> death. Now listen up. Just sit around and wait your turn. Maybe start shaking in your boots. <laughs> yeah, he went full nutty. Unforgivable. Well, yeah, again, he really had a loose screw. So he went beyond fully nutty. We must shatter his ideal at once. Yep. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's stop the final ideal. It seems this place. Alright. Final call, let's go. Let go. Oh, you're going to carry so much. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I should probably dismantle some of that stuff. <laughs> I didn't realize you could carry so much. Oh. Alright. What is this? Change of humanity, humidity, none. Solar position unknown. Wind speed, so. Okay, lounger, it's almost as if times have stopped for you. Oh, the temperature it's doesn't it's change. The wind doesn't blow. Just like always. High school festivals are on a whole other level. High school festivals I would are like on to a play a little game. Level. If you pride yourself on your deduction reasoning skills, there's a reason for you. Now say the password. High school festivals are on a whole other level. password? For you, clue for you, dark. Okay, and he's blocking the phone. So I need to figure out a password. <laughs> There's a hint for the password in the locker. I see. What is the combination in that case? He doesn't know, does she? Sorry, but all I can give you is a hint. A hint for a hint. We don't have time for games. Well, this is a game. Like it or not, you have to take your time. Ah. Oh. Oh my one god. Is 1 is 1.008. 2 is 4.003. What is P? What? What? Did, what? <laughs> oh no. 30 and 97 hundredths. 30, 7, 9, 0. 3, 30, so 3, 0, 7, 97, 100. Alright, so it's 3, 0, Nine seven zero. That is the atomic weight of phosphorus. This isn't a game. It is simple memorization. <sighs> we should hurry and open the locker. The number is three zero nine seven. Thirty ninety seven. All right. Thirty ninety seven. Let go. Numbers. Oh no. Numbers are the root. All right. So it's thirty ninety seven. What? To study them. You wish to know the combination? If we need it for the password. <laughs> Very hint one. When expressed in binary, the combination in question is one one one. Oh my one. god, what? The number is eight one. I presume the 81, second. 28. Mm -hmm. All right, 81, 28. We should hurry in. To study. 81, 28. 81, 28. There we go. To study them is to approach and the where's divine. Where's that other locker? After her. We should hurry. Hey, what was it? We should hurry and. Thirty nine seven. All right. Oh, 
I had to type it. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> Wrong. You're not getting back. Screw, screw you, man. Oh my god, I swear to god, if it's actually password, it's password. I swear Hold to god. It. Password. Better not be just password. Correct. You may what? proceed. It was password? Are you joking with me? What kind of okay? What password is password? Oh my god! All right, be friending, let heal. Oh, that 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 I got questions, man. Like hardcore questions. What the hell? Oh well, we can't save anyways. What was like? Nope. All right, let fight. We're gonna kill the fucker. So, I can't believe password is password. Are you kidding? That's so. Ah! Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, I am. I am mad. Whoa. Hey there, Kokoro. I always knew you were special. You even managed to get to my demon world. I thought that might have been the case when I heard my contract gems were being destroyed. Yep, we're gonna destroy this one too. Contract gems? Demon world? What are you talking about? Kokuru, yeah, leave him alone. He's kind of gone for delusional. I'm talking about this place and the jewels you've been breaking. I named them. <laughs> uh. Listen, Kokuro. Originally. I wanted to wait until after my revenge to tell you this. That you love her? But I've had my eye on you for a long time. Oh, God. I've always admired you. Ever since I first saw you at the library. You're kind, but cold. You're equally indifferent to everything. Oh, God. You hold yourself apart from everyone else. Detached and aloof. I like you a lot. You could even say I worship you. Yeah, I kind of figure. Not just as a person, but as a female. I love you from the bottom of my heart. That's such a weird way to say it, not just as a person, but as a female. <laughs> like, that's such a creep way to say it, man. Why can't you just say, yeah, I love you? Jack him. It's all right. You don't need to give me a response. I wasn't looking for something in return. And don't worry. I'm not trying to get you to go out with me. I just wanted you to know. Huh. I'm surprised. No, no one people do, but like, you have to go out with me. I murdered all those people for you. I loved the way nothing concerned you. The never-ending indifference. Thanks for hearing me out. I can fight you without regrets now. Oh, wow. Wait, I also have something to say to you. Huh? You truly are. Wrong. The most selfish person I've ever met. I am very confused by your confession. It's bothersome, to be frank. <laughs> you could have at least considered a more appropriate time and place. Oh. You said you fell in love with me because I was indifferent, but I don't think that's quite the case. Uh -oh. You and I have had no previous interactions. All you did was selfishly project your ideal woman onto me. You don't love me. You are in love with the delusion of your own making. The girl of your dreams. Wow. She is treading hard on him. <laughs> Have you even once considered what a conceited narcissist that makes you? No, if I was, if I was, <laughs> I'm like, hey, we're about to fight him. You might want to calm down. 
Brigade, he can shoot lightning. <laughs> and on top of it all, you hurt others out of your own selfishness. I strive to hurt no one and to be hurt by no one. Safety and security are my ultimate goals. You and I are polar opposites. I can no longer be the indifferent version of myself that you worship. You have made me uncomfortable. You have caused me no end of confusion and trouble. Oh, <laughs> yeah, if I was, if I was, uh, if I was there, if I was the, cat, the main character here, I'd be like, uh, we're about to fight him and he can shoot lightning. You might want to tone it down a little bit. In short, I find you incredibly creepy. <laughs> yes, that's right. Incredibly, tremendously creepy. Oh, come down. Kokoro, why? This can't be. Oh boy. You've changed. The Kokoro I knew would never say something so cruel. Oh boy. So yeah. You got into her head, didn't you? Yeah, Damn kind of figure you're gonna blame me, right? Damn it all! How dare you do this to my Kokoro! Come, come, come down, dude. Come. Oh god. Oh god. You misunderstand, Subaru. He has nothing to do with this, and I do not belong to you. The same goes for the curse. Are you saying I misunderstood that too? How can you think that after seeing this demon world and everything that's been happening in the academy? Because... Oh, he's not wrong. This is kind of demonic. It's the other world. The mist and the barrier appeared at the exact moment I cursed those jerks. What, what do you mean? When you're falling off the building? It's all because of my curse. If I'm satisfied, if I can let go of my grudges, the curse will be lifted. Everything will go back to normal. Doesn't so you kind of have regret too? It has to. That's what she told me. Oh, it's yours too, isn't it? She came to me in a dream, Kokoro. That yeah, it is. It's your rule. You need to kill her. Oh? Well, that information is false. I don't know why, but Yoru tricked you. Uh, Yoru is a bitch. We need to murder her. You're lying. I only speak the truth. Unfortunately for you, we were told otherwise. And with that information, we have been able to clear out the mist. You have to have seen that it's been disappearing. But they like think being lucky. That's, that's just a coincidence, or some sort of mistake. <laughs> Ridiculous. As always, you only look at things through a lens that benefits you. You're nothing short of ludicrous. It's pitiful. Damn. Even you, even you're pitying me now. It's not fair. I can't take any more of this stupid. Backwards world. Oh God! I'm done playing around. Yeah, what is up with the school? <laughs> like everybody's a menace in this school. Jesus. Era. Oh, we're gonna see. Whoa! I'm gonna kill you and everyone else in this godforsaken academy. Yeah. Oh God. No, you will fall here. That is what the future has in store for you. I don't know, that dude looks kind of menacing. Holy. God. Oh, this song is good. God, they have some good songs. And the OST too. I'm not gonna lie, it's beating. Get ready. Alright, let's do this. You're open. Damn. <laughs> but damn, she just funny as hell though. She went she just went up on him and just like, hey yo, because you're stupid. Yes, it is, Sai. Yes, it is. 
Oh, that's right. I changed the whole thing. I totally forgot about that. God, I changed the armor. Come here, you boss of that. Move and glory. Screw you. Hot, isn't it? Oh, useless. It's not over yet. Oh my god. It's like screws you. Get ready. 
Holy shit. I don't even know what to say for that. I won't back down. Yeah, we finally did it! Fuck! That took like a couple tries, but we finally did it! I got ranked D! Oh my god! Yep, yep. Oh! Oh! I lost? This can't be happening! It is happening now, bow! Bow to me! I was the chosen one! I'm supposed to be special. Damn it. That's almost crazy. Fair. Show me your true ideal, you psychopath. Ooh. My backpack. Beat up and scratched. My textbooks, soaked in air freshener. Their pages, scribbled all over. Oh, jeez. Nasty. Smelly. Trash hit my back. Laughter echoed around. Yeah, that's not, that's just you guys playing around, right? Mom cried when she saw my backpack. They're bullying you because we're poor. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. I hated the laughter. I hated getting hit with trash. I hated the pity. And most of all, I hated making the people who cared about me sad. Aww. I'm no worse than anyone else. So why me? The things I care about... I couldn't take it anymore. The laughter. The trash. The pity. Like, like I said, he, oh boy, poor I dude. I didn't want to be bullied ever again. I didn't yeah. want my mom to be sad anymore. I just wanted to be able to protect myself and what mattered to me. Oh. I wanted that special power. Oh, poor dude. Damn.
this memory, these feelings. Yeah, it is. Look at me like that. <laughs> Don't pity me. You're wrong again, Subaru. I'm not pitying you. Huh? I'm just sad. Well, time to carry his body back to the nurse. I'm surprised. I thought that would be his body. And they'd be like, oh, well, we. We stopped the thing, but it's not stopping the miss. Where is his body? I, I really thought that was gonna happen. Definitely the low key hints about, like, oh yeah, the doctor brought a random body. Gotta say, it was a shock hearing who the pack bearer of Wrath was. Yep. Same name as a student here who's been stuck in a coma. Alright, so it is him. That was him. Who would have thought that he was a pact bearer all along? So does that mean it was his spirit roaming through the first year building? <laughs> I suppose it doesn't matter now, but I'm getting spooked just thinking about it. Perhaps his spirit was being transmitted, like a radio wave. Probably. But setting that aside, why is his body unharmed? I was under the impression he was pushed out of a window. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. It doesn't seem like his powers can heal like Karama's either. How odd. Hmm. Now, this is just a theory. But maybe he was dragged into the other world mid-fall and ended up meeting a monarch that way. Oh, uh, all right. That will make sense. Then, when he returned to the academy, he was already on the ground. Avoiding the impact altogether. That'd be quite the coincidence, though. Well, like I said, it's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> at the very least, when they brought him here, he didn't have any major wounds at all. Yeah, damn. There were cuts, burns, and uh, strangulation marks. <laughs> oh, jeez. They were, they were abusing but the man. I highly doubt any of that was related to the fall. So, he really was being bullied then. That wasn't beyond bully. That was, they were legit trying to murder the man. It's terrible that he had to go through all that. No surprise he'd want revenge for the suffering they caused him. Yep. Uh. That doesn't make it right. You can't just kill people, no matter what the reason. True. Well, whether he was justified or not is a bit irrelevant now. Yep. Guess he, he did, did, he did. to kill innocent students, though. That's not revenge. That's just senseless slaughter. If anyone was justified, it was the Vice Prez and Kokoro for stopping him. He always up. It was the only way to bring some normalcy back to the academy without any further casualties. Vice President, Kokoro, thank you both so much. You're welcome. I guess. You don't need to thank me. Yeah, I could forget to fight her. I got a feeling. I was the one who asked for assistance in the first place. I should be thanking you. Vice President, President Hinata. I have a request. Yes. May I remain a member of the TSC a while longer? Yes. Of course. Right, Vice President? I say, I, I like her. You have my gratitude. Ah, she smiled. It's kind of nice having more friends around. Helps make the place feel a little more lively. But if you don't mind my asking, Kokoro, what made you want to continue being in the TSC? Well... Because of power of friendship. What if I said... It's because I wanted to stay with you. 
Would that make you happy? Don't fall for it! What? This not safe or secure! This girl's not safe or secure. I'm only kidding. Assisting you with your work is the closest I can get to the safety and security I want. That is all. Here's to our continued acquaintance. Well, we're friends now. You can't stop being this now. We're friends. <laughs> Sorry, buggy. We're friends. Ha ha ha, we're friends. Right. Using my authority has me quite exhausted. It is rather draining, to be frank. I would like some time to recharge. Go ahead. I have been helping the president out with her work. Mountains of it. The labor regulations here are dubious. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means I will not be available to help you explore the other buildings for a while. That's Try not me. to be too reckless. With your power, I'm sure you will manage to return safe and secure. Probably I'll be I'm waiting. Probably murder anyway. All right. Well, that ends the first. That will end our first, well, second act, technically, but damn, they really did abuse our man. Oh, uh, what? I don't get another character? Oh, uh, I don't get another character I could name, you know? Says that I still have fish inside. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, as I was saying before, that ends our second act. Man, they abused that man. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to that building and talk to them. Talking with that Mickey chick. But, yeah. Well, anyways, like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye.